Want to be a pirate? AEG has come out with another card crafting game designed by John DeClaire with beautiful artwork by Ian O'Toole. In Dead Reckoning, you're a pirate exploring the seas, trying to find treasure. Meanwhile, giving your crew lots of experience to upgrade and even possibly fight some merchant ships or even your opponent. Our don't worry, the warfare is very friendly in this game, which is something I quite like. On your turn, you have a hand of cards that you can pick from that are gonna help augment the actions you can do. So you can move to go and explore, which you need to count up your sails for. You can attack with certain cards, which you're gonna end up counting up your cannons for. And then you can also go for building buildings on islands that you have influence on. So you can also input your influence towards islands, which will allow you to do production. All of that is all in the goal to reach four of the seven end game achievements. Once you've done that, you've triggered the end of the game and the person who has managed to collect the most treasure at the end wins. This is a beautiful game with some stellar components. So let's take a look inside the box. Everything is really nice and organized inside the box. Everything has its own containers. I've actually also done some upgrades to my box with some 3D printing so that I have a spot to hold the ship upgrade tiles and a spot to keep all of the resources separated for the ship damage, the buildings, and the cubes that you're going to use on the merchant battling. One of the cool mechanics that I really like in this game is how the dice tower works with your cubes and the damage and the warfare. I found it to actually be really friendly, which I thought was going to be kind of daunting because sometimes warfare is really hard to calculate. However, in this one, you're going to look up the cannons that you have, any battle abilities you have on your cards, and that's going to give you a number of cubes. You and your opponent, whether that is the a human player that you're with at the table or the market ship that is on the board, is going to get their own um, number of cubes. You put them together, drop them through the dice tower, which is this cool little ship, and they land in the ocean, and wherever it lands is what's going to happen. And if some of your cubes land on damaged spots, well, then your ship takes damage. At five damage, you're not out of the game. You just sink your ship and you go back to the beginning and you get to start all over again, which is also great. I don't like player elimination. Majority of the spots are actually good. You're going to get resources. There are a couple of spots that showcase whether or not you win. So if you land on that spot, you win. If you tie, the person who attack is the attacker is the one who wins. And otherwise you get lots of plunder. So it actually came out really nice and smooth and I quite like that. The other part I really like about this game is that at the end of every turn, you're actually going to upgrade someone from the new hand that you just drew. This keeps the game moving. So even if you didn't get a good chance to go buy some uh, upgrades out on the map or to get some resources off the map, you didn't get some treasure, you're at least getting a little bit of a bonus even if you had kind of a crappy turn. So that is also really good. Once you've learned the rules, this game actually does play pretty fast and it has a lot of replayability because the map is completely variable. It is these tiles that you put out on the board. I definitely recommend Dead Reckoning. It might be a little bit difficult to get right now. They just finished their Kickstarter launching a new expansion, so it might be coming again to stores as well as to their online site. So give that a check out. And make sure you give me a check out to stay up to date with the latest board game reviews. And let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite pirate?